Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a nice stuffed meat roll. In Italian this is called bassa magro. Uh, but my mother used to cut it short and call We've been doing these bassa magros for about 50 years. Uh, but my mother used to call it bassa magro instead for short. So I'm going to start you off. First I'm going to I've, in the saucepan here, I've got to make the sauce first because I'm going to cook the meat roll in the sauce. So I've got two medium onions, chopped onions, cooking into about two or three tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to add two cloves of garlic to that and just let that all brown together. I like to have this sauce simmering away because then I'm going to put that meat roll in there to cook in the sauce. Now I've got here 500 gram of tomato paste uh, melted down with a litre of water. So I'm going to put that in there now. And to that I'm going to add another 500 mils of water. We need all this because that's got to cook slowly. This has got to cook slowly for about two to two and a half hours. Plus I'm going to add to add, I'm going to add half a bottle of passada. That's a cooking tomato uh, paste in the bottle. Passada is uh, some another to fresh tomato cooking product. So I'll add that to it. Now I'm just going to leave this simmering away while I get going and show you how to make the meat roll. That's your, I'm going to put some salt in it. And I'm going to put some pepper in it. And I'm going to put some nice fresh basil that I've picked from my garden. Now I'm going to leave this simmer while I get my meat roll done. I'll just put the lid on and we'll just leave it there and that'll slowly simmer away. Okay, now I've got here uh, some skirting steak. Now when you buy skirting steak you buy it uh, in a piece that it's like folded over like that. This is about 500 gram here, a little bit extra, but then you've got to go in and cut it open. Now if you can't do that get your butcher to cut it open for you. So when I've cut it open I have got a lovely piece of skirting steak. Okay, so now, now I'm going to put some salt on that, a little bit of salt on it to season it up, and some pepper. Now, I've got here, I've got some pork mince, which is seasoned with salt and pepper. I've got some strips of cheese, I've got strips of bacon, and I've got hard boiled, I've got five hard boiled eggs. Now, we're going to start off with the pork mince. We make a bed of pork mince on the middle of like that. Just spread it out. You can. This is a nice big uh, uh, meat roll. I have a large family, so I always make a nice big one. So they can always take some home in their doggy bags. The kids can anyway. So now what I'll do here, I'll put some strips of bacon underneath. You can put. Uh, you can put bacon, ham, or you know, but bacon gives it a nice flavour. And then I can put some nice strips of cheese on that. Whatever, okay. Now and then I'm going to put some parsley across there. Now these hard boiled eggs, I like to take from the top to the bottom, I like to cut a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom so that they all will get close together like that form a nice I can take a bit more off that one because you can see the white part because when you cut it I like to get that red yolk in the middle so that's another one I haven't cut like I just cut that white part off and the back part off there so that just comes together like that there's another one take that top bit off and take that bottom bit off and put it together. And 
and there's five that fit in there nicely. Now we do the same procedure again. I put some more ham on the top, uh, bacon on top of that. This is boiling here, so I'm going to turn it down because that just got a simmer. We'll do the same process on the top. We put that nice cheese on it like that. And we'll go again with a bit of parsley, with just to put a bit of greenery to it, which is always nice. And now we finish it off again with the mince, pork mince on top. Just open it up like that and we have to come just fold it all together around it. So you get a nice roll out of it. Just try to hide all your egg and everything all together. Now here comes the tricky part that we've got to roll this. Okay. Yeah. I've got some kitchen string here which I'll be needing. So what we do is now get that to come over there like that. Tuck your end bits in and bring that over like that. Bring it right over to cover it all up. Now we're going to tie this nice and tight so it won't all come out. But what we do now is you get your kitchen string. And I'll tie the first bit up. You can put a toothpick on the end of this, which uh, holds it together. One of these uh, big toothpicks that I have here, it just sort of holds it together. Now that's that other one. I'm going to get this one. It's a bigger, thicker one. It just holds it together, that bit there, yeah, like that. Now I'll go around with this string. Just lift it up and go around nice and tightly to hold it together like that again. Just keep on going round with it. The bit's tricky but uh, uh, and get open up. Now we'll put another toothpick at the end here so we can keep it together. There you go. Now we'll keep on going round with this nice and tight. Now we're going to fry this to brown it all in a pan. And then when it's all uh, nice and brown, we're going to put it in that tomato sauce to cook. And it's got to cook, it's got to cook for at least two to two and a half hours. So that's nice and secure. You can, you have to take the string off after it's been cooked, so that's okay there like that. It's nice and it won't come out. I'll cut that off. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it in a pan with some nice hot oil in it. See that's how that's nice and snug there. I'm going to put it in a pan with some nice hot oil in it and it's going to brown up and I'm going to turn it around at each time to brown it all up and then I'm going to put it in my sauce. So there you go, I'm going to put that there, it'll probably take about 6-7 minutes to brown it all. Keep on going round and round and brown it a bit at a time. Now this has been browning for about five or six minutes. See how it's nice and brown? Now I'm going to put it in this sauce and that's got to cook for at least five or six, two or two and a half, two to two and a half hours. I'm going to take that off. So that's got to cook slowly. 
That is why it's got to cook about two to two and a half hours and nice and slowly. I'll leave that there. Now, I have one prepared that I have cooked before. I'm going to show you the finished product of that. By the way, my mother used to call this Fassabo, okay? The, the proper name is Fassabagru. But my children, it was something funny because every time they'd see me make this, they'd go, are we having another Fussy Mary? So it was nicknamed Fussy Mary to my children. So there you go, all, all the names that you can call it what you like. So now we're going to slice this. You can have it cold, you can have it... I like to make it rest when it comes out of there and you take the string off and just let it rest for about 20 minutes and then just slice it like that. And you can serve, this is very nice left over the day after. You can have it in sandwiches, you can have it on a salad. Uh, very nice. There you go. A nice big pieces. You've got the pork mince, you've got the cheese, the bacon. So it's got lots of flavours through it. It looks a big one, but it's, it's quite nice for if you have a large family, you need a few slices. That's what I say about your egg, that to take the, the, the bottom and the top off so you have a nice round egg yolk in the middle of it. There you go. So that is my finished product of my stuffed meat roll, which is called Passamagro in Italian, but for short we used to call it Passamal, and then my kids nicknamed it Fussy Mary. So there you go. That is the finished product. I hope you'll like it.